What is this that stands before me? Figure in black which points at me. She loves it when I sing to her. Hi fans of High Quality Entertainment, how are you? Today, I'm going to talk about Black Sabbath. And I'm going to talk about 10 of my favorite, what I feel are underrated Black Sabbath songs. So, there's not gonna be in this list paranoid, Fairies Wear Boots, War Pigs, you know, all of their well-known songs. And if you are a huge Black Sabbath fan, then probably uh, on this list, you, you wouldn't think any of these songs are underrated to begin with, or, or most of them at least. But, you know, for the, the typical rock fan that's kind of, kind of knows Black Sabbath, but not completely... These are 10 songs you need to listen to, buddy, or gal. Let's focus on me a bit more. Hi there. She didn't like that. There's nothing over there, folks. Maybe I shouldn't talk about Black Sabbath. Here we go. Oh my god, it's a figure in black standing before me. Number 10, Backstreet Kids. What a rockin' tune. Number 9, sung by Bill Ward, the drummer. I've always loved this song from Technical Ecstasy, It's All Right. Great singer, by the way. They should have fired Ozzy and just had Bill Ward sing. Joking. Number eight. This is from Sabotage, and even uh, huge fans of Black Sabbath, some of, some of you probably don't like this. It's a kind of a very odd instrumental. Called, I don't even know how you pronounce it. Superstar. It's got a Z in it. Superstar. Superstar. It, it has uh, like a church choir, uh, drum, really cool drumming, guitar, acoustic guitar, bells. And it's just, if there's one track for me besides the, the original song Black Sabbath by Black Sabbath, that's eerie and creepy, it would be this instrumental. And I, I've always loved it though. Maybe on first listen it was like, what the heck is this? But after that I loved it. Number seven, from Master of Reality, a really mellow track, and it works perfectly going into the final, uh, into the void, I guess, plus the uh, instrumental part of the beginning. Solitude. And you know what? There's still arguments online about this of, of who is singing because it certainly does not sound like Ozzy. And so even I was thinking it was Bill Ward. But I googled it. Yes, I did. And I am, I'd say 90% sure it is Ozzy. And there's even a uh, outtake of Solitude. You can find it on YouTube without the... Uh, echo on his vocals and all that, and I think it is Ozzy. He's just singing it very, very well. Number six, a beautiful acoustic track. I absolutely love this. Volume four is, once again, not one of my favorite Black Sabbath albums. In fact, of the first six albums, it's my least favorite. I've just never completely gotten into it. There's, there's some tracks, uh, Wheels of Confusion, for instance, that I absolutely love, but the whole album I can't really get into. But Lag Laguna Sunrise, hopefully that's how you pronounce it, I love. Number five, from their first album, Wicked World. 
Number four, what a kick butt, got to watch what I say here, what a kick butt song this is. It is Never Say Die. Now the album itself, for me, isn't that good. I, although I know there's Sabbath fans that absolutely love it. But Never Say Die is just as good as all the other Black Sabbath songs. It kicks butt. Now for my three favorite underrated songs. And these would, all three of these would be in my top ten Black Sabbath songs. I have to burp. Sorry for disappointing you with that burp. Number three, Hand of Doom from Paranoid. And it starts so, you know, like a bluesy kind of song, which is great. But the, the section of the song that I absolutely love is just after the 3 minute 30 second mark. Where uh, it go, you know, the drums and, and the guitar and the bass go, doom, 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 doom. It sounds exactly like that, by the way. So you don't even have to check it out. And these two, either one could be number one. But at the moment, I have as my second underrated Black Sabbath song, a national acrobat from Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. And just like Hand of Doom, the whole song is great, but the part that I absolutely love, I think it's actually my favorite, one of my favorite moments in Black Sabbath is the riff that starts just after the 4 minute 30 second mark. It goes like this. Do 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 Not quite as happy though. But it is such a I don't know. It's not even it's almost like you know a lot of their riffs are heavy and evil sounding. That's not even, it's not even an, it's like a, a happy, kind of a happy, uplifting riff in some way. I don't, it's just really weird. That riff is, I think it is my favorite uh, Tony Iommi riff. I'd love your thoughts on just that particular riff, if you think it's one of their best. And the number one underrated Black Sabbath song. Now I could have chosen Symptom of Symptom of the Universe, but I, I don't know if it's really that underrated. I think for Black Sabbath fans that would possibly be most people's favorite song on that album. So I went with one of the, the, the two longer songs. There's The Writ, which is awesome. That, that's underrated for sure. But I've chosen Megalomania. It's like eight, nine, nine minutes long. It's got all these changes in it. Ozzy sings awesome in it. It's, it's number one for me. And that's it. I hope you guys have an awesome day. It was just a snowplow going by. Bye.